My name is Jahao, a PhD student of New Jersey Institute of Technology. Today I will present Java paper, a C and a C++ code vulnerability dataset with code changes and CV summaries. And here I want to thank my collaborators, Ili, Professor Xiao Wang, and Professor Ting Ren. Vulnerability detection and fixing has been the core and critical activity in the software industry. Undetected vulnerabilities can be exploited by hackers and may cause a great loss to users. Hackers could exploit the vulnerability to decrypt confidential information when users make connections to the affected software. Recently, the de detection of security vulnerabilities has been a cru 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 crucial topic of interest to the research community. However, most studies have only conducted vulnerability detection for certain types of, of vulnerabilities, mainly due to the lack of readily available dataset. Inspired by the need, we created a, a large C and C++ vulnerability dataset, namely, namely BigVo from the Common Vulnerability and the Exposure Database and the open source projects. In total, BigVol contains 3,754 code vulnerabilities spanning 91 different vulnerability types. All these code vulnerabilities are extracted from 348 projects code repositories. Here we can see an example of vulnerability of Linux. From the vulnerability database website, we can see that here, here a lot of here are a lot of descriptive information of the vulnerability, like CVE ID, CWE ID, CVE security scores, and the CVE summaries. And for some of the vulnerabilities, there are some reference links of it. Some of the links will indicate a fixing commit to the project code repository of the vulnerability. By exploring the code commit links, we can find the code changes to fix the vulnerability. And these code changes are usually involved in a code matter. By this exploration, we collect our dataset in the following step. First, we create all the vulnerability entries in the CVE database. Secondly, we automatically selected the CVE entries that have the reference links of public available Git repositories. We only keep the Git repositories that have a clear fixing commit links. Thirdly, each commit is considered as a mini version of a project. We use the commit ID to request the commit histories of the projects and mapped each mini versions to the corresponding CVE entries. For each relevant commit, we extract the code changes between, before and after the fixing vulnerability. Finally, we use the code changes information to recover the vulnerable version of a matter. We, identi we identified 4,413 two code commits relevant to the vulnerability. Spanning 91 CW types for a given vulnerable function with the related commits, we keep the vulnerable version of the function and its code changes for fixing the vulnerability. In total, we obtained 8,143 modified files and 11,823 vulnerable code matters in our big world. We stored our dataset in the CSV format. This table describes each CVE feature and its corresponding column name in our CSV file. Our dataset with supporting collection script are available on GitHub. Our big row dataset can be used for many vulnerability related, related research areas.
For example, deep understanding CVE and code changes, code-centric vulnerability detection, and, and the identification of vulnerable fixing patches. In our future work, we will mine, mine more repositories that use other issue tracking and source control management systems like Bug Zero and Jira to make our data cover more project, more vulnerability types, and more programming languages. That's all of my presentation. Thank you for your listening.